Yellowstone Mud Geyser Eruption, a shocking scientific phenomenon. Yellowstone National Park, often lauded for its serene beauty and geothermal marvels, became the epicenter of global scientific discourse following an unprecedented mud geyser eruption. This dramatic geological event, which erupted with a ferocity unseen in recent memory, not only disrupted the park's tranquil atmosphere but also posed significant challenges for geologists and the United States Geological Survey USGS. So not only was it happening more The mud geyser, located near the Norris Geyser Basin, erupted with such intensity that it sent columns of boiling mud, water, and volcanic gases high into the air. Witnesses described the eruption as violent and otherworldly, with thick plumes of steam shrouding the area in a dense fog. The eruption created a large, newly formed crater, displacing tons of sediment and altering the surrounding landscape. What made this event particularly alarming was its sudden onset. Unlike many other geothermal features in Yellowstone, which exhibit minor warning signs before activity intensifies, this mud geyser erupted without significant precursor signals. Park rangers and visitors were caught off guard, prompting immediate evacuations of nearby trails and facilities. For geologists and scientists at the USGS, the eruption represented a seismic shift in their understanding of Yellowstone's geothermal systems. While geysers like Steamboat and Old Faithful have predictable cycles or well-studied anomalies, mud geysers are more enigmatic. Their behavior is heavily influenced by subsurface conditions, including groundwater flow, heat, and pressure. This eruption defied existing models of geothermal activity in the park. Previously, mud geysers were considered less volatile compared to their water-dominated counterparts. The sheer power of this event, coupled with its lack of warning, left scientists scrambling to understand the underlying mechanisms. Adding to the urgency of the scientific investigation is the potential link between mud geyser activity and Yellowstone's infamous supervolcano. A mass of very hot molten rock, which we call magma, moving up towards the surface. As it moves up, it starts... The park sits atop one of the largest active volcanic systems in the world, and any changes in geothermal activity are closely monitored for signs of increased volcanic risk. The eruption raised fears that deeper magmatic processes might be at play. Do we have earthquake swarms in the park? Geothermal activity, such as mud geyser eruptions, can sometimes indicate shifts in the movement of magma or the buildup of underground pressure. Although the USGS was quick to assure the public that there were no immediate signs of an impending supervolcano eruption, the event served as a stark reminder of Yellowstone's volatile nature. The eruption has prompted an immediate expansion of research and monitoring efforts in the park. New seismometers, ground deformation sensors, and temperature probes are being installed near the Norris Geyser Basin to capture real-time data. Geochemists are also analyzing samples of the erupted mud and water to identify any changes in mineral composition, which could provide clues about subsurface conditions. USGS researchers are particularly focused on understanding why this eruption occurred without warning. Some speculate that a sudden release of pressure from deep within the Earth could have triggered the event, while others point to the possibility of a rapid influx of groundwater into a superheated zone. Beyond the scientific community, 
the eruption has reignited public fascination with Yellowstone's geothermal wonders and its potential hazards. While the park remains a beloved destination for millions of visitors, events like this serve as a reminder of the raw power and unpredictability of nature.